Sawadee Kap. I'm JP Mistanza. It's January 13th. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by We'd like to apologize for yesterday and issue a correction on our top story as all entertainment venues, including pubs and karaoke bars in Phuket, are ordered to close at midnight every night, not temporarily shut down, and there is no alcohol ban in Phuket. Alcohol just cannot be sold after midnight in Phuket. This remains in effect until January 20th or until further notice. An incident in Phuket town in which an emotionally unstable man was roaming in front of row houses on Sakti Det Road with knives well, it did end safely after the man's friend managed to calm him down. It all took place at about 2.30 p.m. in a complex of single-level row houses on Soy 31 Sakti Det Road, which reports say they saw a shirtless 29-year-old man roaming around with a Sparta blade in one hand and a kitchen knife in the other. Over 20 cops showed up and the man was seen holding the kitchen knife to his own throat, eventually going inside one of the houses. A 40-year-old ex-co-worker of the man showed up who had police play the man's favorite music loudly outside and he helped talk him down. The man was unable to get his medication and turned to drugs and the incident was sparked when he was unable to get money from his family, according to reports. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Marine police are being praised after they rescued four people after their boat capsized about seven nautical miles off Phuket while on a fishing excursion yesterday. The four people set off from Nayang Beach shortly before noon yesterday and then when they were about seven nautical miles from the shore, their boat was hit by a strong wave and capsized. All four were wearing life jackets when they were rescued by Marine police. For more on this, visit thepuketnews.com. Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. People arriving in Phuket placed under a mandatory 14-day quarantine here, they are allowed to roam the hotel where they are staying and are not confined to their room, according to the Phuket health chief. It's all part of the provincial order which went into effect over the weekend for all domestic arrivals from 28 red zone provinces in Thailand to quarantine for two weeks in Phuket upon arrival, including arrivals from Bangkok, Chomburi, and Samutsakom provinces. The only exception are those who just finished their 14-day quarantine period in Bangkok after testing negative. Phuket residents who are returning home from a red zone area, they may serve their quarantine at home but must not leave the property for those two weeks. Meanwhile, Public Health Minister Anutin Chakvirakun says that local administrations and municipalities can purchase COVID-19 vaccines and conduct their own vaccination campaigns once approvals are given by the Thai Food and Drug Administration. The government intends to provide 2 million free doses to frontline health workers next month and begin launching their mass free drive in May using the 60 million doses of the AstraZeneca Oxford University vaccine with the hopes of immunizing at least half the population. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. And Phuket hospitals and all over Thailand, they're facing a blood supply shortage. And now the Phuket Regional Blood Center is calling on all Thais and foreigners to donate. The schedule and locations on where to donate are now on your screen with the full list on the PhuketNews.com, link in the description. All donors are required to report their travel history before donating blood and donors must wear prote a protective plastic sleeve on their arm before putting their arms into any blood pressure monitor as part of the process. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Thai officials confirmed 157 new COVID-19 infections over the last 24 hours, including a nine-month-old boy. The new total is now 10,991 cases for Thailand. 63% of total patients have recovered. The death toll remains unchanged at 67. Thank you for watching Phuket Extra today, brought to you by the lyrics below. We'll be back tomorrow. Until then, Stay classy, Phuket.